Hi, I'm Larissa, and welcome to this edition of Digital and Show and Tell. Uh, this episode, what we're going to cover is our CMODs, or carrier modules. In the previous episode, I covered the analog parts kit CMODs. These are basically, these are ICs that are only available in surface mount packages that we've mounted in a breadboardable format. We use machine pins for all of these uh, CMODs, so they're more easily inserted inside of the breadboard. Breadboards are really a good way for educators to teach simple circuits and to really hit home the concepts of wiring and block diagrams. So it makes a lot of sense that um, educators don't necessarily want to move directly to a full-scale board and lose that breadboarding capability. The first CMOD I really wanted to focus on is the CMOD C2. This features a CPLD from Xilinx and it's a 40-pin package with a JTAG connector on it. This is a really good migration path for people who are used to wiring 74 series logic, a lot of them, and they still want to have that breadboard experience, still want to go through the logic experience, but aren't necessarily ready to migrate up to an FPGA yet. Which brings us to the CMOD S6. This is a board that we've made with Project Lead the Way, which is an amazing program that encourages STEM education in K through 12. They previously were using the 74 series logic and wanted to migrate to a more modern and FPGA architecture. This CMOD has two user push buttons, some user LEDs, and it features the Spartan S6 LX4 architecture FPGA. It also is programmable over the USB cable. The last CMOD that we have today is our Chipkit CMOD. This is a 2 by 20 dip package CMOD that features a microcontroller that is fully compatible with MPIDE, which is our port of the Arduino IDE. This CMOD can be programmed over USB and features two PMOD ports as well as two user LEDs. Um, it's very helpful to put this type of um, board into projects. We actually have an example of the chip kit CMOD in action right here, if you see, where basically what we're doing is that we're using the two PMOD ports to be sensors. And so now it's on a breadboard, you can move it around, add additional components, and, um, you know, and get at the extra uh, I.O. that you didn't use when you plugged in the different PMODs. So that wraps up this edition of Show and Tell, um, covering all of our carrier module boards, or CMODs. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to make them on the video. And until next time. Hey, so if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to click up there to subscribe or click down there to watch some more videos. Don't forget to check out our website, www.digilantinc.com. And thanks for watching.